welcome again to the one coin only arcade challenge and um, you'll probably be a bit excited for this one as you know we've already done Robocop 1 by Data East well today we're going to be doing Robocop 2 by Data East so we're going to see how it holds up in comparison this one came out in 1991 so it's based on the movies and the game they're both the same uh, it's a sequel uh, I did watch the Robocop franchise growing up as a kid I really liked the first one the second one was okay the third one was meh and then after that I kind of stopped following him. But we're going to see what this is like in comparison to the first game. So I'm working out the buttons here now. You've got a shoot button that shoots forward. And then you've got this other button that will shoot behind you. So I mean you can cover yourself from both directions. And then you've got a jump button. Um, this kind of feels a little bit like NARC. Not necessarily the jump. I don't think you could jump in NARC. But the fact that you, it's a side scroller where you shoot in both directions. It does feel like a different game now compared to Robocop 1. Um, whether it's just as good or not, we'll have to figure as we go along. Um, one thing I don't like is Robocop does move a little bit sluggish. Uh, but I mean, he is a big metal million ton machine. So I mean, I can't be too critical of that, I suppose, can I? And again, another neat thing is, I wasn't expecting this. I've never played this game before, but... Another game with those multiple elements, you know what I mean? We had that side-scrolling shooter, and now we've got this 3D uh, rail shooter uh, section, and I just think that's really, really cool. I love games that are full of surprises and add heaps of different gimmicks into their game. As long as they work, that's the catch, you know? Sometimes it doesn't work, but I mean... Apart from the sluggish movements of Robocop, I've been having fun in the short going so far. some life here. It's good that there's a health drop pretty readily handy. So compared to a lot of other Data East games I've played, this doesn't feel too cheap. We're, a, we're probably a couple minutes in now and I've still got over half my health bar. So, uh, you know, they're not taking my life savings just to get a complete game so far out of this. I'm going to push this car. Man, Robocop's strong. Get in there already. I probably look really sus doing this, like I'm, my body's completely shaking while I'm in front of the camera trying to move this truck. So I hope we don't have another one of these segments anytime soon. I'm going to go visit my friend Nick and see if he's got some guns to sell us. Hey Nick, you got some guns? Hey, you're not Nick. Cool different weapons. I like that sort of like flamethrower based gun that I had there. Let me got this again. It doesn't seem like the um, the bonus lasts for too long though, which is a shame. I only got a couple shots off it. But that's okay as long as guns are readily available. We all love power ups. Oh, we got Chainsaw Charlie here. Oh, I might be getting ahead of myself, but he, he, he seems to be pretty soft for a boss. I'm not really having any any problems so far. I've noticed that I've not really had to rely on the jump button either. I mean, that would kind of make sense. I can't imagine um, big, heavy, multiple-ton robots are going to jump like Michael Jordan exactly, are they? Well, I don't need to jump. This guy's jumping for me. I just walk underneath him. Okay, now I might need to be a bit careful with cutting it close. I wonder if unlike the last Robocop game, you actually get uh, your health back at the end of the level. I swear the rest of his health was easy to get rid of in this last little bit. Come on, die already! Finally got him. Well done, Robocop. You did your job. Now, I like games where you get your health back as a reward at the end of each level. I have a feeling in this one you won't, because I know in the first game you didn't either. Let's have a look. Nah, you just stay with what you have. See... So well, I see a little two symbol there, so I think you might have multiple lives if I'm correct, though. I think in the first Robocop game you only started with a one. So, playthroughs seem to be pretty generous. Oh, 
got to give credit where credit's due, Data East. I know I give you guys a lot of shit for being really stingy with your games, but I think you've done an incredibly job, good job this time. Yeah, so you get multiple lives in this one, and we lasted ages off that first one. This one's really good. to get caught in the moment now. It's so easy to get addicted to this game. Some death now, guys. Just trying to work out the strategy and the pattern. Well, he does take a hell of a lot of health off you compared to the first boss. Mind you, the first boss I kind of knew the pattern and knew how to avoid him. This one I sort of haven't figured it out yet. Okay, I've, I've kind of worked out when he's going to shoot that big cannon. Okay, so this one has a, a pattern too, but I mean, I got punished trying to figure it out. Yeah, see, I'm, I'm, as you notice, I've been slowly starting to avoid his attacks, but he got me then. Thank you so much for joining us, guys. It's Robocop 2. It is a really, really good game. It's a little different to the original, but this is still a good side-scrolling shooter with some hybrid elements as well. If you like what we do, please subscribe, tell your friends about us, share, whatever, comment below. We'll see you next time.